welcome to a vlog where it almost wasn't a vlog because we almost missed our flight. Very nearly. Very, very nearly. We are flying to New York, but we almost weren't flying to New York. So I'm glad I didn't start this vlog because that whole experience was so stressful. Basically the security check-in said it would be 20 to 25 minutes. It was more 45 minutes. So we literally got on the plane as the gate should have closed. But we think they've held it. We think they've held it because of that. Um, but the man very kindly gave us the like exit row seats, so now we have all the like room of the world. But I feel like I'm dying. It also means that we are in charge of people's lives now. And Charlie's the one by the door, therefore, yeah, she can do that. But we're off to New York. Um, yeah, we booked this like 36 hours ago, very last minute. Um, and I'm excited. I don't really know what to say because I can't breathe. It's great. We're staying in Times Square. We've never been. It's my dream place I've always wanted to go. And we're going to do all the touristy things. And it's freezing there as well. So that's all I have to say for now. Um, we're going. We almost went, but now we are. So it's okay. We're on a plane. It might not even be the right one for all we know because we just ran so far. Do not say that. <laughs> that was so stressful. And we had McDonald's breakfast as well, oh. which was good. to New York at last. To be fair, it doesn't actually feel like it's taken us that long to get here compared to when we went to LA, which was like a five hour flight. We flew, our flight left at like 10, and it's what time? I think it's like two? 5.03. It's 2.45, and <laughs> oh, that clock, on, did you really believe it was five o'clock in the afternoon? No, that's awesome. <laughs> Um, and we're in our hotel. We have moved rooms because I was a bit like, mm, the first room wasn't really what we expected. So we're in our room now, which is much bigger, much brighter, much, just more nicer, just much nicer. I knew that we'd have like the room would be like just a decent room um, because New York is crazy expensive and also everything's really small as you can expect. But this is much bigger than the other one. Although that picture frame is wonky and that's really gonna bother me. Oh my gosh. There we go much better thank you charlie yeah. so we're staying in the galavant i think the galviant uh, just off of times square this is our room with a massive big comfy bed and we have a view of the ritz plaza and some office buildings um i think we should make signs to the people across the road and sing them songs and then we have a desk area and a big tv i like the wallpaper because it's got loads of like different sites and tourist destinations in New York um, such as pizza places which makes me really happy and then we have a little mirror here and the bathroom is small but it's better than the other one was so here we go I'm wearing my Epcot jumper today and it's all marble which I appreciate so we're in our room and when we how do we tell the people how we got here because I can't be bothered to turn the camera around how do we tell people that we got here? So we got on a plane yep. that we nearly missed. We'd, oh yes, did I tell them about this? I did, that's yes. when I started the vlog, yeah. Um, and then we got on a little monorail. Yep, which was airport, free. Airport monorail, which was free. Um, and then we caught a train, a double-decker train. We did. We weren't sure whether to get an Uber or um, whether to get the train. And because we landed in Newark Airport, which is actually New Jersey, I was a bit worried that it might be like really expensive because you're crossing states. Um, so as Charlie said, we got the little free monorail from our terminal to the train station in the airport. And then it was $13 mm -hmm. per person to get the train from uh, Newark Airport to New York Penn Street Station, not Street, I called it Street earlier. Um, and then we just walked for like 20 minutes. Uh, to our hotel and it was a lovely walk it's not too cold we walked through times square and we saw so many things and we both got really excited and we're very excited so we're off to explore new york we're in times square ah! <laughs> it's insane it's it's insane i i don't really know how to tell what to say about it but I've... everything and more yes that's it look at this all of the lights and the buildings and the posters and the billboards this is so pretty. There's a Disney store, <laughs> a 
then down every road is a theatre. Like down every street is a different theatre. It's crazy. We were walking away from Times Square and then I saw Hamilton out the corner of my eye and I just like sprinted off. She ran. She didn't even say anything, just ran. And then I saw the shop because we won't see the show. Um, and now we're in the shop and they have so much stuff. I don't want to buy it all. I'm so overwhelmed and I want to cry because like I've seen the outside of Waitress um, which is what I'd love to see here if we can make it happen but I don't know who will and I've seen the outside of Hamilton and they're my two favourite musicals so I'm, I'm emotional. That's so cute. Oh. Oh my god. It was amazing. That was the best place. Like American food, that's already enough. And then like really cool themed diner and then the servers sing. Um, and we were like, we can't even serve, let alone sing and serve. Um, it was so much fun. They sing like Disney songs, Broadway songs, pop songs, pretty much everything. But it was so good. I really enjoyed it. And I should, would definitely, 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 definitely go if you come to New York. Um, don't go late in the evening because then you'll have to wait longer. But we went at like four and we were probably there for two hours. Under two hours, but it's really good. I really enjoyed it. And now we're walking back to Times Square, um, and it's all dark now, so we're gonna see it all lit up. It's pretty, and I'm so excited. And it's cold, not as cold as I expected, but cold. It's very cold. Any lies? Tony doesn't have a scarf, she needs a scarf, yes. and then she'll be okay. <laughs> We've come into the Disney store. Oh my gosh. Christmas! Charlie's on the hunt for something more on her. Look at all the Christmas stuff. You can get the Moana one of these if they have her. I can see her. Down on the bottom. I wonder if she sings. Oh my god, this, this one sings. Oh my god. What song will it sing? Oh, all this time. Oh. So cute. I'm obsessed with all of this New York based things. And I'm getting a mini. You can't not get a mini. She's so cute. Oh, the Christmas one. Oh my gosh. I'm overwhelmed because I found a bell section with all this pretty stuff and Charlie found a Moana section and she got a Moana mug and they have so much stuff. This is the best Disney store I've ever been in. I love it. It's amazing. It's fun.
A few moments later. I don't think I actually said what we were doing. Um, I can't remember the last time I picked up my camera. We we're just crossing the road in Times Square, which is a weird sentence to say. And um, we went to watch the SpongeBob musical, which is just there. That those lights. Um, didn't even know really that that was a musical. Did you? Let me know if you knew that was a musical because I didn't know. Um, it's it's a musical now. Anyway, so we got tickets for thirty dollars each at the back, but it was fine. We could still see it was high, but like you, I got used to it after after a little while. Um, and we're going this way. Yeah. It was actually really good. I didn't expect it to be, I thought it would be good because nothing really makes it to Broadway if it's not at least mostly good. And it's still in preview, so it's not actually officially like debuted yet. I think it starts early December, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. So one of the good things about it is that there's like so many different composers have written songs for it. So the music is like all different styles, all different everything, um, which kind of adds to the randomness of it because as you can imagine, the SpongeBob musical is very random. But it was really, really well cast. Everyone who was in it, I thought, was literally a human representation of the animated character, uh, which I can't imagine is easy to do. But no, I really enjoyed it. It was really good. It was a cheap show and uh, not something I ever thought I'd see on the stage, to be honest. SpongeBob the musical. <laughs> That's New York for you. Um, but no, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I kind of want a hot chocolate now. Oh, yes, please. Should we go to Starbucks to get yes. hot chocolate? We're back in our hotel room. Charlie's already in bed. This is always what happens. She gets on with it, gets in bed. I sit here like a knob, like on my phone, not getting in bed. And then I'm like, why am I not that cozy? Oh, because I'm still sitting here, not ready for bed. But I've been drinking my hot chocolate, which was really delicious. And we've been like chatting about the day and going through pictures and everything. Um, and talking about the SpongeBob musical, which I'm still like, did that just happen? Um, it was really good. I genuinely, really enjoyed it. And um, I'd recommend it. If you like the show, go and see the musical. Um, we didn't realize that, well, we knew, I knew it was in previews, but I didn't realize that tonight was the third night of them previewing. So it's still very new. Um, so I think they did a really good job, considering that it's not even officially launched into the Broadway world yet. Ellen's diner earlier was so good. I absolutely loved that restaurant. I thought it was so much fun. I would go back there in a heartbeat and I would say you have to go there if you come to New York. It wasn't too expensive considering you are kind of getting an experience and they don't really like, they didn't pressure us to leave. I didn't feel like they were like trying to get us out really quickly. We could have stayed there for a bit longer. Um, and I just really enjoyed that. I love stuff like that and that was really good fun. Eventually anywhere apart from Times Square, we did briefly see, as I think I said earlier, the Empire State Building, but we were powering through trying to get to our hotel earlier. So um, we've been around Times Square all night, which to be honest, you could spend a week in Times Square because there's so much here, so many shops and so much down every street that um, you'll never be able to see it all. So we've kind of been in and around. We went into Forever 21, which was a really good Forever 21. Um, although the people working there weren't great but the stuff they had was great and then we went into the Disney store which was really amazing and we bought Minnie Mouse Statue of Liberty style and I'm not really a plush toy person but this is the cutest thing in the entire world I don't know if I showed you Charlie's getting it but oh my god we both saw it and we're like that has to happen and um, she was just so cute we haven't even been to the Statue of Liberty yet but oh my god they're so cute look at them She's the cutest thing in the world. Look at how sweet they are. I just love her. I think she's adorable. So nice. That Disney store was really great. The cast members in there were really magical and I was like overwhelmed by that because as someone that worked in a Disney store for a couple of months, it was not that magical in my Disney store. But it was really pretty and they had so much unique stuff and they even had a Moana section. Charlie, when does that happen? Never. <laughs> Never found a Moana section in six months. So um, yeah, that was great. And then I just walked up to the theatre and they had tickets for $30, so that's why we went to see Spongebob. Um, and it was great. I've had a fantastic first day, although we're, we're both pretty much like, cannot believe we're here. Um, it's, it's crazy to be somewhere that you see on films and TV and like see it in the world so much to actually be here is, is amazing and I love it. I'm such a city girl that I love being in places like this. It reminds me of London a little bit. Um, it reminds me of home, but I love it. It's fantastic. We very, very, very kindly were given a 
ticket called the New York Explorer Pass by the amazing people at Traction Tickets Direct, who you guys probably know because they're my number one recommendation for tickets, whether you're going to Disney World or Orlando, Florida, anything in the world they do tickets for. So I always recommend you guys check them out. And they very kindly found out that we were, well, they didn't very kindly find out, they found out we were coming to New York and then very kindly gave me and Charlie a pass for us to do three attractions. So, um, I reckon we might start using that tomorrow. We have got so many things that we want to see. Um, I'm not too sure the order we're gonna do it in, but tomorrow we are free. I'm hoping to try and get waitress tickets. I'm gonna get up really early and go around to the theater, which is literally the street behind our hotel, and see if I can get tickets for that. Um, but I don't know if it'll be possible because Jason Mraz is in it, which has made it quite um, busy, because he only started a couple of days ago. And so I think, I'm thinking that after that we should maybe head towards um, like the south of New York, it's probably not the right term, and go towards um, Wall Street and go to see the Statue of Liberty, Brooklyn Bridge, and maybe do the 9-11 memorial and tribute and see that stuff. Saturday we're definitely going to the Rockefeller Center and we're, well Charlie is ice skating, I will stand there and then probably not be very good at it. And then we'll go probably do Top of the Rock as well. So there's loads of stuff we've got to do and I'm just, I'm so excited and so many things we need to eat and see and yeah i'm excited it's gonna be a really good few days and today was amazing and i'm really excited for tomorrow and fingers crossed we get tickets for waitress because that'll make me so happy because it's my fave i'm obsessed i'm obsessed Welcome to New York. taylor swift's new album is released <laughs> in 22 minutes and i'm very excited and I've, we've been walking around singing singing welcome to new york all day because we're cliche and that will probably be a caption in an instagram post at some point because i'm basic anyway We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching today. Good night.